Hello friends, today we are going to see how to print nodes having KLUs in the binary tree. So let's see what it means. So the nodes having KLUs means that there are KLUs in its subtree. Means for example, the node C has 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 leaves in its subtree. So this is the subtree of C means C serves as the root of this subtree. I will mark it here. Yes. C serves as the root of this subtree. So for C there are 5 leaves. So this means the node C has 5 leaves. So now if k is equal to 2 then how many nodes are there in this binary tree such that k is equal to 2 means they have 2 leaves. So here I will show you the node D has 2 leaves in its subtree. Then for example, node G has these two leaves in its subtree. So, node D and G are the nodes, they have K leaves. That is, K is equal to 2. So, D and G have two leaves each in their subtree. So, what I had to tell you is that node having K leaves means there are k leaves in its subtree. So let's go ahead and see the algorithm for this. So the algorithm is combination of post order traversal and leaf counter. Means we have to traverse the tree in post order way. And we have to keep counting the leaves for each node. So what does it mean? So here as you know in my previous video on this channel I have explained the post order traversal in detail. I have mentioned the link in the description below. So I will quickly revise the post order traversal here. So for post order traversal the left node comes first then the right child and then the root. So left child, right child and then root. This is the post order traversal of a tree. Left, right and root. So here we are going to traverse left, uh, left subtree and the leaves in the left subtree. Then right subtree and the leaves in right subtree. And we are going to add the leaves in left subtree plus right subtree. This is the left count plus right count. And we are going to check whether there are k leaves or not. Let's see the algorithm here. So, for this binary tree, see, there are these five steps to be performed at each of these nodes. This is a recursive function. If you have seen my traversal videos, then you will perfectly understand these numbers. So I will again tell you the numbers. So 1. If node is a leaf then return 1. So if that node is a leaf, here that node is not a leaf but for R for example it is a leaf. So we will return 1 from this node. Then LC that is the left count means the count in the left subtree. We have to count the number of leaves in the left subtree. Then we have to count the number of leaves in the right subtree of that node. Means for example for A, left subtree and right subtree. This is the left subtree and this is the right subtree. Then after counting we have to count the total leaf count. TLC is total leaf count. So left count plus right count gives us total leaf count. And the fifth step is we have to match that total leaf count with k. So if that matches then we have to print the node because it has k leaves because total leaf count is equal to equal to k. 
and then we have to return the total leaf count for the above nodes to trace the leaf count. So let's execute this algorithm on this binary tree. Come on. So now the first step is check whether it is a leaf. No. So go to the second step. Second step is go to the left subtree for counting the leaves. So I came to the left node. Then first step whether it is a leaf. No. Second step go to the left subtree. First step it's a leaf. No. Second step go to the left subtree. First step it's not a leaf. Second step go to the left subtree. Yes first step. Yes it is a leaf. So we have to return 1. We return from the function. We don't need to go to these steps now. We just have to return. So we have returned 1 here. So now the leaf count at h is 1. So at h how many steps are over? 2 steps are over. So go to the third step. So the third step is right count. So go to the right subtree but right subtree is null. For h there is no right child. So third step is over. The fourth step is total leaf count is equal to left, left count plus right count. So 1 is the left count and right count is 0. So 1 plus 0 it is 1. As there is no nothing at right the right count is 0. So 1 plus 0 is 1. And check whether total leaf count is equal to equal to k. No. As k is equal to 2, our total leaf count is now 1. So 1 is not equal to 2. So we go to the fifth step and fifth step says that it is not equal. So just directly go and return the leaf total leaf count. So we return 1 that is the total leaf count to the previous node. After coming to this node, here we recognize that the left count is 1 and we go to the third step to go to the right child. This is the right child. First step whether it is a leaf. Yes, it is a leaf. So this right child will return 1. So 1 plus 1. This is the left count plus right count. 1 plus 1. Now the fourth step. Fourth step is total count. So 1 plus 1 becomes 2. So the total leaf count is here is 2. Now after calculating the total leaf count we have to go to the fifth step. So on the fifth step check if total leaf count equal to equal to k. Yes they are equal now. Total leaf count is 2 and it is equal to 2. So as it is equal we have to print the node. So we have to print D in the output. So that D has k leaves in its subtree. Yes. Now just after printing the node in the output just return that total leaf count. So return the total leaf count. So I have returned the total leaf count 2. So now at B how many steps are over? Only 2 steps are over. So the third step is go to the right side. The left side is 2. Now we are going to the right side. For right side the first step yes this is a leaf so it will return 1. Now the fourth step here it says us to add the left count plus right count. So 2 plus 1 is 3 and check in the fifth step just check whether total leaf count equal to equal to k. No because 3 is not equal to 2. 3 is not equal to 2. So we don't print the node we just return the total leaf count. So 2 plus 1 is 3. So we return 3 here. Okay. Now we return 3 and so here in the third step we go to the right tree, right subtree that is the right child. So the leaf count here is 3 currently and we moved to the right child. 
Now on the right child the first step whether it is a leaf no. Second step go to the left subtree. Here first step whether it is a leaf no. Second step go to the left subtree. First step whether it is a leaf no. Second step go to the left subtree. First step whether it is a leaf yes. So return 1. So the left side has returned 1 and go to the right side. Whether it is a leaf? Yes. So return 1. So 1 plus 1. So third and the fourth steps are over. 1 plus 1 is 2. Left count plus right count is 2. And the fifth step is check. Total leaf count equal to equal to k? Yes. 2 is equal to equal to 2. So we have to print this node. So print j. So we have printed the node j. Now return the leaf count. So we have returned 2. So for this 2 is the left count. Now we move to the right child. Okay. So after moving to the right child, check whether it is a leaf. Yes. So return 1. So left count plus Right count is 1. So 2 plus 1 is 3. 3 is not equal to uh, 2. So just return 3. So we have returned 3 here. So the left count is 3 now plus go to the right side. For right side 1, whether it is a leaf? No. 2, go to the left subtree. No left subtree. So 0 is returned. Now go to the right subtree, yes, 1. Whether it is a leaf, no. So go to the left subtree, 1. Whether it is a leaf, yes, it is a leaf. So return 1. And for Q, I means now we have to go to the right side. So for Q, it is a leaf. So return 1. So when we return 1, uh, at the fourth step, we add 1 plus 1, left count plus right count. And the fifth step, we will check whether 2 is equal to equal to 2. Yes, they are equal. So we have to print L. So print L here. Now return 2. So here 0 is the left count right count is 2 so 0 plus 2 is 2 so number of leaves are here 2 so go to the return 2 to the parent now the right count here becomes 2 so 3 plus 2 is 5 so 5 is not equal to 2 so return 5 here and 5 is returned so 3 plus 5 left count plus right count. 3 plus 5 is 8. So total leaves also you can say for this tree are 8. Anyways there is no significance for these returned count but this code goes through these steps. That's why I have shown you these steps. But we have finally got the number of leaves here that is D, J, L and uh, I am sorry, here also we have to print G because 2 is equal to equal to 2 and uh, anything is remaining D then yes, so these are the nodes which have K leaves that is K is equal to 2 so these are the nodes which have 2 leaves each. So this is how we uh, print nodes having K leaves.